Voilà, chers compatriotes, je vais un peu inverser euh, l'ordre du sujet. Comme le deuxième sujet est très bref, je vous montre d'abord que les manifestations qui se sont déroulées à Kinshasa contre les ambassades occidentales sont arrivées très loin. J'ai vu plusieurs chaînes euh, anglophones et des chaînes des États-Unis publier ces manifestations où ils disent que euh, les manifestants euh, congolais accusent les Occidentaux d'être derrière le Rwanda, de soutenir le Rwanda. Donc, euh, je ne peux pas vous montrer toutes ces chaînes-là. J'ai choisi juste une chaîne, un extrait. Et vous allez entendre ce qu'ils disent. Bon, c'est en anglais. Pour ceux qui n'entendent pas l'anglais, ceux qui ne comprennent pas l'anglais, euh, je vous ai déjà expliqué en gros euh, ce que c'est. Et à partir des images, vous pouvez aussi deviner qu'il s'agit des manifestations. Et regardez bien, c'est bien écrit « Live Washington ». Donc, ils sont déjà au courant de tout. Qu'ils ne fassent pas l'hypocrisie. Regardez. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Rwanda has dismissed all accusations. Here's the full report. Residents in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital city, Kinshasa, woke up to violent protests and clashes. Demonstrators burned tires outside the embassies of several Western nations. Protests also took place outside the office of the United Nations. The Congolese are accusing the West of supporting Rwanda. But why are they protesting against the West because of their neighbors to the East? That's because of the M23 rebellion. Here's a background to M23 and the tensions between DR Congo and Rwanda. The M23 rebellion was an armed conflict in the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The ethnic rebel group comprised of Tutsis. They picked up arms in 2012 by claiming that they wanted to protect their identity from the government in DR Congo. The fighting left thousands dead and millions displaced. DR Congo accused Rwanda of supporting and aiding the M23 rebellion because Rwanda is a majoritarian Tutsi nation. Tensions flared and violent clashes became common in the eastern Congolese city of Goma. But in 2013, a peace agreement was signed and the M23 either surrendered or fled to Rwanda. Now M23 has become active again and have made advances towards Goma city. This brings us to today. The Congolese are unhappy with M23 making a comeback and they're blaming the West for igniting a warlike situation. They say one thing in their assemblies, international communities, European assemblies, but deep down, they practice other things. So we have decided that we Congolese will take our matters into our own hands. We will bypass what has been planned by their lying law, and we will take charge of our problem. We warn the international community not to interfere in our affairs anymore. We are claiming our rights. France and the United States are fostering the war in the Eastern DRC by supporting the rebellion. A country like Rwanda cannot fight against the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We are marching. We are not breaking or destroying people's property. But the head of the police is sending his officers to chase us away. A conflict that had once died down is making a comeback after a decade. Rwanda has denied all accusations. Rwanda says that the M23 rebellion is an internal matter of the DR Congo. And the mineral-rich eastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo is facing a crisis once again.